pretty cool. Have a little fleet of like protecting craft as well as yeah. a, a repairing craft and yeah. going out there helping somebody out. Salvage the salvage mechanic is going to be really interesting because that's that's going to come yeah. with the repair. That's going to be really cool too. I feel like that's also going to be the the switch into more profitable runs, so to speak, because mm. being able to salvage components off of and sell them might yeah. be very profitable. I think so. I think so. Like even if you sell components mm. at like say a third the cost and you're yeah. only able to salvage one or two components off of any ship on a size three components i mean that's still a nice chunky paycheck yeah, yeah like you know what one of the things like killing um, a hammerhead that's a lot <laughs> yeah that's a lot that's of a money lot. just pull off those components it is a lot um one one thing um i don't know if you guys played eva online before no no all right, I've so, seen it only. Okay, so in in Eve Online, it's it's it, it's it's a huge game. So you can salvage, you can do combat, you can do pretty much everything. And one thing I learned from a YouTuber on Eve Online is you can do some combat, destroy all these ships and loot them, but their the wrecks of their of their ships are also salvageable where they can make a lot of money from it so after you go to different different locations and destroy all the M npcs loot the crash sites you can come back with a salvage ship to now salvage all that so if you're doing like bounty hunting just remember the locations they were your those ships were and bring your salvage ship and start salvaging especially the bigger ships like the hammerheads and and all those or you can coordinate with um a teammate or somebody to to do that after yeah, that's why i think the reclaimer is gonna be kind of nasty Ooh, it's gonna it it's gonna bring in so salvage. much money oh yeah <laughs> it's gonna bring so much it's gonna be oh man the reclaimer owners are going to have make so much money it's gonna be scary it's gonna be scary oh man yeah jonathan is, is be a good segue into like engineering manufacturing like prototype blueprints mm. for this that or modify right. you get the you know you get the salvage and then you give yeah. it to a, a manufacturing ship making this mm. different specialty component or sub -component. i think you are going to be able to modify certain components because i was um i was playing some arena commander or yeah or a little bit earlier yeah. and if you notice on the weapons the weapons are actually classified as oem specifically Mm. So I wonder if there might be something that, say, you could modify weapons outside of the OEM spec. For they they did not mention it a while back though that we like you would there will be people that you could go to that know how to modify guns and things of that nature, you know, to get the best out of it. So I I definitely believe that we will get that, hundred percent. Yeah, like tinkering, profession. Mm. Yeah. This that's, game. that's where I would be, isn't it? Yeah? Nice, nice, Tinkering. nice. Tinkering, nice. yeah, engineering. And just the idea that there is a well-known guy that knows how to get the best out of your ship and everybody wants to go to that guy to modify, yeah. that would be really cool. Just the idea of, you know. My ultimate that plan is, <laughs> yeah, my ultimate plan is to have uh, these uh, highly modified uh, components and weapons mm -hmm. and to uh, run around on a banu merchantman just selling them off and Ooh, that's pretty nice cool. that'll be really I cool run around with a banu merchantman and basically have like a moving strip club yeah. <laughs> 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 <In the rapid laughs> nice <laughs> nice 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 oh man it's gonna be so cool man when when they when we have the, the merchantman what's the other one the um the drake one Cracking. Oh, the lying around. Deer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's dope, dude. I don't yeah. know. I'm I'm really excited to be able to get onto some of those ships. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. I think what's really cool about them is they can basically serve as like their own little hubs. Because if yeah. you think about it, having a merchantman or any sort of capital ship like a mm. privateer around yeah. your system, that yeah. means that 
being just in that system, even with a smaller ship, you can benefit off of being close to it and trading right. with it. Right. And kind of abusing its activities, being able to sell certain things to it, maybe at a higher yeah. thing. So it's kind of cool that it is going to affect the economy wherever it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It is, it is. Definitely. It is. It is, man. Like, yeah, just going around getting some, getting weird, rare items, bringing it to certain locations and selling. It's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah, I really like the implications of that it has with other people. Yeah. As well. It's it's like, yeah, you're doing the selling and you're doing whatever it is yeah. that you're up to. Yeah. But at the same time, other people are like, hey, there's found a merchant here. And I know that some of the shops in there will buy this for higher than anybody else in this particular system. Yeah. Hmm. So okay, I, I wonder how the shops are going to work. Is it? Are you going to like hire an NPC to stay at the storefront? Yeah, from and what I hear, you can hire NPCs or whatever mm. you want. That's or rent, for example. Okay. I believe it can be like uh, you can have your own little stores in there where you can set a certain amount of things that you have and yeah. just set them to sell automatically. Yeah. yeah. So like a, a trading station, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's going to work for like other players. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. But uh, I believe it would be kind of equal. Have you heard of the Quanta system that they're going to have? For... Yeah, yeah, I heard about yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I think it would be the equivalent of just like setting a node to your quant, to the quanta system inside of your merchantman or whatever. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it will start recognizing it where you go. The NPCs will also come to purchase mm -hmm. to buy and sell. That would be awesome. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, you can you can literally swing economies, especially. In the yeah. pyro system where there isn't really going to be many shops i mean you can swing economies but i mean if everybody knows that you're there then you can also... yeah. everybody knows that you're there There's yeah yeah, gonna be yeah. Great for yourself. yeah. That maybe oh but you can't you can't just fly that thing alone you gotta have actual yeah. guys to defend you Cool. Like imagine how much you could swing the economy in a system like Pyro, for example, like you said. Yeah. There's not many things around there, and it might be heavily profitable to sell things there, especially if they are rich in minerals. We don't know that yet. Right. But if they are, yeah. it could be a very good place to go mine for high yeah. risk. And being there as a seller or a buyer. Even well, even even a star fair would profit being in, in Pyro. Yeah. Right, because of the, the the vast distances, people are we feeling it's gonna be a big thing. Yes, rearming the Vulcan if the Vulcan comes out at right. that time. Right, right. That'll be a, like a little miniature type thing. Mm -hmm. That'll be cool. Yeah. Crucible yeah. crucibles will be like uh, mobile mobile uh, uh, truck stops. Yeah. Polaris will be like mobile truck stop. Yeah. Yeah. Just cycle through fighters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do I land?